What's up guys, in this video, I am going to show you Windows 10 tricks and hidden features. There are situations when you get up from your office but you forget to lock a laptop, well, you would not want your co-workers to take a peek inside your laptop. Well, this is where the cool new dynamic lock feature comes into play. Dynamic lock automatically locks on your PC when you are away to enable it. You will first have to pair your phone to your PC via Bluetooth. Then you can just head to settings here, go to account and do and then go to sign in options here, scroll down below and just check the option and the dynamic lock. Now, whenever you move away from your laptop with your phone, the laptop will automatically be locked when your phone is out of the computer's Bluetooth range. If you have a high-end Windows laptop with an SSD, you must have face storage problem once in a while and thankfully the Windows 10 brings a great storage management. In the system page of settings, go to the storage options. Here you will find all the drives in your PC. You can just click on a drive to get the specific details. That's what's using up storage on your device. So you can remove files that you don't really need. There are also temporary files and you can just click on it to delete temporary files. Downloaded files, empty the recycle bin and some of previous Windows version file if you don't want to go through the hassle of cleaning up these files every day. Then you can enable Storage Sense, which delete temporary files from apps and files from the recycle bin that have been there for over 30 days. Now this should surely free up space at times when you take a picture from your smartphone and you quickly need to send it to your PC for quicker editing. Windows 10 now has a really seamless feature for that. This feature is your phone feature. In the setting page, there is a phone option right here. Just add your phone after which you will get a link to your phone companion app on your phone. Obviously, then just install the app after which you just sign in with your Microsoft account. Everything set up, you will see all the photos and messages from your phone. In your phone app on your PC Plus, when you take a photo on your phone, it show up instantly here on your PC. So that is pretty great. Most and recently, a new clipboard feature that is one of my favorite new feature. I have been waiting for a native clipboard feature to arrive on Windows for so long and now that is finally here. All you need to do is go to the clipboard setting in system settings. Here you can just enable clipboard history and sign it across devices. If you want to copy and paste between multiple devices, now you can just use the keyboard shortcut Windows plus B to open the clipboard anytime, anywhere and just check out everything you have copied and paste it with this so that is pretty great. If you use a laptop for long working hours, especially at night, so might have been the latest discomfort in your eyes. Well, that's because of the blue light in the display. Now, Windows 10 offer a night light option. You can just head to Windows settings, here go to system, then display you should see the night light option. Here just enable it and you will see the color temperature of the screen change to more warm tones. You can also personalize things if you want, you can schedule night light from sunset to sunrise or set a custom time. Checking notifications on your phone while you are working on your laptop is not the great experience as you might have guessed. Yes, you can get your phone notifications on your Windows laptop. Just need to install the Cortana app on your Android smartphone then set up the same Microsoft account that you use on your PC. Once it's set up, tap on the profile icon in the Cortana app. Here go to settings and tap on the option signing settings. Not just enable notifications for missed calls, matches apps, etc. Once done, open up your Windows PC and go to Cortana settings. Here click on the notifications and enable send notifications between devices. 
You can also click on manage notifications to make sure notification signing from your phone is enabled. Once done, you will see various notifications from the Android smartphone and you will even be able to respond to messages and calls right from your PC. Emojis have become an integral part of our civilization. On the internet, sadly, there are no way to type an emoji easily from the hardware keyboard. The good news is you can send emojis from the on-screen Windows keyboard. Just right-click on the taskbar and click the Show Touch Keyboard option. Now the touch keyboard will be available to you all the time and you can just open it to go to emoji page and send as many emojis you want. Teaching some of the steps to do a particular task on Windows through texting or a call can be very annoying. The best way is through images. Well, not many people know that Windows 10 includes. A cool steps recorder feature as well just launch step recorder through Cortona. And a small window should open up just hit the start button to record the steps you want to show someone. Once done click stop and windows will show up the steps you just did you can review the steps and even add any comments by recording steps. This should come very handy. If you just have a couple of minutes to go out and there is a lot going on your PC right now and you don't want to close all the running tabs and software and you don't want to shut down the easy way to lock screen, is press Windows plus 1 and it will lock your PC first. If you are like me, would take lot of screenshots searching for the snipping tool or using the print screen and then cropping the required part is too much of work. Alternatively, you can press Windows plus Shift plus S and then select the area of the screen you would like to capture. And then you will have to paste it and save it manually. It's that simple. So that's all for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, comment on below if you have any question and I'll see you in the next one.